For the most part, it has been a normal night at the San Ysidro, California border crossing. People lined up to enter the country, their papers examined, and then cleared to go. But not for Cruz Velasquez. He has been held at the soft secondary inspection position for just over five minutes now. Officers Baird and Perrion continue to examine the two bottles from his shoulder bag, and Velasquez is becoming increasingly nervous. He knows he's in trouble, and not just with the border officers, but with the people in the cartel who paid him. In his mind, the cartel is worse than the U.S. agents. The brutality and ruthlessness of the cartel that controls the Tijuana border knows no limit. Bodies hanging from overpasses, mass executions, more than 30 journalists killed in the last five years alone, all to send a message. They're well armed, they will kill people. Former FBI agent Steve Gomez, now an ABC News consultant, says the cartels do not tolerate failure. A lot of times they don't even want to hear the excuse. They'll just kill everybody and make an example. So he's in a bad place. A very bad place. So now Velasquez is about to get one last chance to bluff his way out of his predicament, to prove what's in the bottle is not drugs, as the family lawyer took us through the video. Cruz now points at the bottle, and she's saying, OK, drink it. And she makes the gesture that we associate with to drink. Now watch the male agent. He says, drink another one. You see them exchanging glances and smiles because they know what's going on. This is a game in which he's being played with by these officers. They want to see what his reaction is. They're playing with him. And they think it's funny. Perrion later claimed he always thought it was just juice. But tests will show that what Cruz swallowed, what was in the bottle, was more than 100 times greater than a typical dose of methamphetamine. Dr. Ben Nordstrom of the Phoenix House Drug Treatment Program. This is a truly massive overdose. In terms of what you've seen before, how does this level compare? Uh, it's higher than anything I've ever seen in my career. Have you ever taught that it's standard operating procedure if uh, you are suspicious about uh, an item of food or drink, you should have the traveler consume it as part of your do job as a, an officer? We taught that I at the academy. I don't recall. You don't recall? That. You don't remember that? I don't recall. No. I don't recall. And were you ever told, well, if you suspect something is a drug, why don't you ask the person to consume it and watch their reaction? No, sir. Uh, you shook your head no, and you made a pained expression. That's obviously something that is not an appropriate technique, correct? Correct. It's something that should never be done. We can agree on that, can we not? Yes. But now at 7.07, two minutes after the first drinks, it happens again. Two more sips. And you see the smile. A total of four swallows in all of the highly toxic solution. What you see, I think, is a basic lack of compassion and decency toward a 16-year-old boy. Uh, almost a delight that you would see in children who just pull the wings off flies slowly. A smile when he's being asked to drink something and being put in this position. Watch this. Inexplicable. It's just outrageous conduct. James Tomchek, the former Customs and Turtle Affairs head, ousted amid controversy and now a critic of the agency, calls it a complete violation of the agency's protocols and training. If they had any suspicion that it was a controlled substance, it is truly outrageous conduct. Completely inappropriate? Absolutely. 
Yet our 2020 investigation, conducted with the nonprofit Investigative Fund, found it's hardly the only case involving alleged abuse and mistreatment by the very agency President Trump is counting on to carry out his border policies. For too long, your officers had agents haven't been allowed to properly do their jobs. You know that, right? Do you know that? Absolutely. Well before President Trump took office, there had been at least 10 suspect deaths, including the case of another Mexican teenager, a 15-year-old, shot dead by a border agent in 2010, supposedly for throwing rocks. To the outrage of the young man's family, the agent was not prosecuted. In another infamous case, five years ago, caught on home video, a Border Patrol agent in an airboat on the Rio Grande River shot at a family on a picnic on the Mexican side of the border, killing the father and then speeding away. Later claiming someone in the group was also throwing rocks. Again, no criminal charges. There is a clear history of agents and officers engaging in what I believe was serious misconduct. And at the same San Ysidro border crossing where Cruz Velasquez was stopped, this remarkable phone video from 2010 revealed what Tomshek says really happened when officers beat and repeatedly used a stun gun on a suspect lying on the ground, claiming he was resisting arrest and high on drugs. He suffered a heart attack and later died at a hospital. No action was taken against the officers. When he was being tasered, was he resisting? I don't believe that was the case. I believe he was on the ground, restrained. Was that a justified use of force? It certainly did not appear to be so. So they were trying to cover up what really happened here? Absolutely. In the case of Cruz Velasquez, officers will later claim he volunteered to drink the methamphetamine solution. Now 7-11, six minutes after Velasquez took the first drink from the bottle, Officer Baird puts the bottles back into his bag and inspects his passport. Officer Perignon goes through his wallet, and now the teenager can be seen wiping his forehead. What's happening in his body is that that is working its way up to his brain. As another officer pats him down, he again wipes his forehead. It's getting to him. You'll see that he begins to sweat profusely, he takes off his jacket. And it's about to get a lot worse. When that hits, how much of a punch is that? It's not going to be a punch. It's going to be a series of punches. It's 7.29 PM. 